Hey guys, and welcome back to Spyro. When we last left off, we had introduced ourselves into the game. Uh, Spyro was just chilling out, having some fun with his friend Sparks here, and Gnasty Nork decided to piss on our parade and entomb all of the dragons in this world in crystal. So, as the only dragon left, it is up to us to recover the treasure and save everybody else. So in the last episode, we managed to 100% the Artisan Subworld and Stone Hill. So let's continue our adventure on the hunt for treasure. I think next we shall do Dark Hollow. Oh, you know, it's so satisfying going through these portals. How are you feeling, Spyro? You good? You all full of energy? Excellent. Now these loading screens on the Switch really do chug up actually, that's one thing I will say. Which is a bit of a shame, but I mean, you know, it's a loading screen, it doesn't really matter, but the frame rate, oof. This game also takes a heck of a lot longer to load uh, on these consoles, as opposed to the original, which is kind of bizarre too, but you know, we're, we're talking massive more uh, amounts of data. now. Look at the way Spyro's animation actually uh, runs there. It's so good. Even the way Sparks kind of flops around. Right, these guys have shields which they hide against. But that's cool, because we can just smack him in the face with our horns. Alright. Go right down there, buddy. Your shield is not going to protect you, I'm afraid. So, if they use shields or any kind of armor, that generally means they are immune to uh, flames. So we have to use an alternative method to defeat them, which is usually charging them. There are some uh, extra things later on. Now, just look how freaking gorgeous this game is. Oh, it's stunning. You know, even now on these systems, it looks beautiful. I haven't played it on the base systems, but I imagine it holds up pretty well on those too. Alright, buddy, who are you? Let's grab up some more gems. Alban. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Their metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Noted. Now, you say they wouldn't uh, bother you, my friend Album, but uh, you appear to have been captured by Nasty Nor, uh, as well as all these other dragons. And Spyro here seems to have avoided that fate somehow. Uh, the Chris's for this level are frogs. <laughs> He's such a friendly little fella. Aw, oh, he wants to be friends. Well, too bad. Spyro doesn't need your friendship. Now, let's go down into the dark dungeon. Ah, hey big fella. Now he's too big to charge, and we can't flame his armor, but we can fry his ass. Which yields the same results. You do get a few guys like this. I like the fact that if we flame their armor, the uh, metal actually glows red. And they did back on the PlayStation as well, which I thought was a really nice visual touch. You know, back in the day, uh, to get like a big kind of open -y world like this and it was for the PlayStation this would have been a big free roam open world type thing or at least as close to one of those as you could get they used to use a lot of techniques like fog to uh, ease up the processing load on the console now this is one of the games that didn't use anything like that it was it really pushed the hardware Oswin Use the action button when you want to zoom in and look around. All your secrets safe with me. <laughs> yes, well, I mean, we can use the action button. I'm not sure why it's the action button, because it doesn't really do anything apart from going to a first-person view, which is, to be honest with you, fairly limited use. Although the action button also does drop you straight back down from a glide, so I guess it does have use. Um, yeah, so Insomniac, the company that made this game, actually was approached by Sony to produce a rival of sorts to Mario 64 and a lot of people thought it wasn't ouch <laughs> whoops wasn't actually possible on the PlayStation so Insomniac actually went out of their way to prove that a Mario 64-esque game totally was I think they succeeded now the controls on the original game are fairly rough 
They're playable, but they are rough. They're, they're nowhere near on the same level as Mario 64. But I think the game as a whole is a better is a better one. But that's just me. I like Mario, but I've never been, you know, like hardcore into it or anything like that. I just prefer the charm of this game. Alright, not bad. Let's go finish up this. Alright, 69. Lel. Okay, cool. Let's go bust open this chest because we've got the key. Feeling good, Spyro, even after that massive lump on the head. By that nasty bastard. I love that smooth animation there. Just fill up. See, these uh, numbers that actually jump out of Spyro when he collects gems are still 3D, which is cool. So, I don't know, I'm not sure why they actually changed the, uh, the UI to a, a 2D kind of aesthetic but hey i always like the fact that we could light these fires i always thought that maybe that would be a secret but it isn't sadly remember in zelda when uh you know generally if you can light a load of torches and things on fire that means there we go you see the his shield lighting up there that generally means there's a secret nearby or a door that you can open but unfortunately not so much here darius big enemy like this north with the club cannot be charged, but a quick play that should defeat them. Mm hmm. Yeah, so that's cool. We can use a quick flame on his ass. Nice. Wow, the frogs actually survived that. We basically torched the earth, and somehow these frogs survived. Yeah, they're happy enough, you know. They live in their own little bubble. Alright, hit me with the good stuff, fairy, and let's get out of here. Ooh, Savage. Seriously, we're missing one gem? Hey, don't laugh at me, evil woman. Missing one gem. Oh, that's Savage. That does happen. <laughs> Obviously. Right, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's down here somewhere. That does seem most likely culprits. Uh... Ah, there it is. Thought it would be. Yeah, they hide gems around in these little nooks and crannies. Level 100% complete. Awesome. Let's get out of here, Spyro. We've got more, many more areas to explore and complete before the day is won. Now, I think Spyro 2 pretty much starts uh, exactly where this game finishes, if I remember correctly as well, which is quite funny. Like, there is literally no rest for the wicked. Let's get out of here. Look how good this, the moon looks over there. They put a lot of detail into Spyro as well, his actual textures. He's got a nice bit of subsurface scattering there. You see the light going through his wings. Oh. <laughs> they definitely put way more detail into this than they had to, that's for damn sure. Okay, cool. Alright, let's flame your ass. Might as well grab some some of these uh, orbs where we can. If we can get up to 10 lives, that'd be great. Now, I'm expecting to lose a shit ton of lives when we get to the treetop level. That's just the way it is. There we go, 10 lives. No, not quite. Okay. Son of a bitch. Ah, the treetop level. God damn it. Definitely not looking forward to that one. Now it's a fun level when uh, everything goes right, but <laughs> things never go right. Where's that bastard gone? Come here, you dick. It's a shame he's still carrying a gem. Very misleading. He doesn't have any gems, goddammit. Right, so we're 10 lives. Let's go to Town Square. I always like this level. So, 400 gems. 400 gems. We've got another, well, <laughs> 36,000. No, 13,600 gems to find, I think. There is a lot. But as we go through the game, we start getting significantly more gems on the level. It's kind of weird, actually, coming back to these earlier levels to just see how, you know, lack, well, such a lack of collectibles here. I think there's an egg on this level, too. Right, who have we got here? Nils. Hey, Nils. Oof. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. 
Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right stick to get a good look. The right stick, eh? Yes, in the original game, of course, you couldn't use the right stick. The camera was controlled with the shoulder buttons, and that was as awful as you think it is. So, we've got these chickens on this level. Look how good they look, though. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, right there, buddy. Get fucked. Oh, did you see that was a blue butterfly there? That does, that was totally unintentional, by the way. Uh, every now and again, you'll get a blue butterfly come out of those things, and that will give you an extra life. So we've got another skill point here, Town Square, all balls stuck. Now, two ways to defeat a ball. You can charge him, so he lands like that, and he is still very much alive, but he is actually counted as defeated. Or you can flame them and kill them. But for the purpose of getting a skill point, we're going to ram them all. Spyro's tougher than he looks, man. Yeah, there we go. I mean, I guess these dragons built this. Uh, with larger dragons in mind. Imagine this is kind of an awkward area to traverse for a young dragon. I mean, look at these steps. You've got to bounce up them. Be knackered by the time you get anywhere here. Another life. Excellent. So, what we've got here? That's all done. We do need to get up there, but we'll get up to there a little bit later on. Let's go across. Who have we got here? Delvin. Oof. Thanks, Spyro. Ooh, a cake. I have the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Oof. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? I did. But thanks for telling me anyway. Right, cool. So we've got this dude here. Flame his ass. And get you stuck. Some more gems. Lovely. Now, is there anything in this? Yes, Spyro can't swim. At all. Uh, <laughs> um, I, yeah, I always thought it was a bit sucky in games, should we say, when you couldn't swim. Ooh. Okay, that... Oh shit, almost did something stupid there. Yeah, that butterfly actually jibbed out there, which was a bit weird. It wasn't actually moving, but I think he was moving. Let's ram all of these guys, get fucked. So you're seeing pretty much every level in every world. Oof. Pyro, do you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief, and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run, run. <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. Yeah, settle down there, buddy. We'll get the egg back, don't worry. Yeah, the dragons are themed, depending on the level. And uh, the world itself, which is quite a cool little touch as well. Alright, let's get out of here. We need to glide our ass all the way around. This is actually quite a tricky glide, if you're new to the game. And I still screw this one up quite a few times. You can hear the thief over there. Nee, 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 nee. <laughs> Don't worry, boy. We'll be flaming your ass soon enough. Yeah, you can see just how tricky this this um, jump actually can be. That's... Nope. God damn it. Really? Really? Really, Spyro? There we go. Right. Are we ready? Are we pumped? Are we fired up? We want all cylinders. Charge! Now, the best way of dealing with this chump is that. Flame his ass. Not bad, Spyro. Not bad. I always prefer to try and flame those egg guys instead of ramming them because you just get that little bit extra reach. And they seem to be quite bullshitty at getting out of the way of your, your flames. But, uh, out of the way of your charge, I should say, they seem to always be you know that one step ahead of you you, know, you can ram them obviously but flames is where it's at when it comes to those guys all right not bad spyro not bad where's sparks there he is well he disappeared then can be hard to keep track of him he does have some cool idle animations as well if you just stand here sparks will come right up to the camera and wave at you which is freaking amazing 
I actually think he did that in the original as well. Come on, Sparks. Perform. Do it. <laughs> That's quite cool. Uh, I think that was what we were looking for. But for some reason, Sparks decided to look in the wrong direction. That was kind of bizarre. Come on, Sparks. A few more minutes. A few more seconds, I should say. Yeah, okay. He's doing the wrong <laughs> the the wrong angle there for some reason. Alright, anyway, there's our skill point. Yes, there's all the gems. Excellent. Thor. Welcome back, Thor. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. You yeah, most welcome. Always track your progress by accessing the guidebook through the pause menu. Yep, don't worry. We shall indeed master that. Cool. Alright, let's get out of here. Job done, son. Now we've got two levels left, I do believe. Some more treasure in the bank. Yeah, so in the second game, you can actually spend your treasure. And you can buy upgrades and new powers. Including swimming under underwater. Which is really freaking cool. Alright, there's also a whole slew of new characters in the second game, which blew my mind. I really did uh, think it was going to be more like this, just a similar game again, but no, it really isn't. Now uh, we've done Stone Hill. Okay, so we've got the flight level to do, which we'll go to now. I, oh, I got a love hate with these flight levels, I really do. Come on, you dickhead. These guys are always worth chasing down just because they do give you a decent amount of those orbs. Okay, so... Sunny Flight, here we go. I think on stream it took me a good few <laughs> attempts to do this one. Ugh, not looking forward to it. Not looking forward to it at all. But, hey... We'll give it a go. Yeah, I don't think the game controls very well in these flights uh, levels. I mean, it feels pretty much the same as the original. It's just... Yeah, I mean, we fucked it already. We fucked it already. If you clip anything, you go into the water. And it's game over, man. And you really don't have time to fuck around but if I've managed to do it on the Nintendo Switch running at whatever the hell frame rate that runs at ah oh, see hitboxes man come on I think we've possibly already screwed the pooch here oh god yeah as you can see the camera really struggles to keep up with the action as well which doesn't help okay now, I want to go against the grain with these train guys. Because you don't want to chase them. You definitely don't want to chase these train guys. Alright, so we've got one left somewhere. Come on, buddy. Oh, God. That's fine. That's fine. That's good. Now, these guys, you want to go against the grain with these two. If you can help it, anyway. I don't know, that worked. <laughs> Just slaughtering. I love these uh, little planes they are flying. They're really cool. Nice. Don't quite know what happened there, why we didn't hit him, but that's fine. That's fine, game. There you are. Oof. Right. Let's circle round and go for the gates. Now this has gone way smoother, to be honest, than I thought it would. Uh, shit. I think I've spoken too soon. I definitely think I've spoken too soon. We might get lucky here. We might get lucky. We're not going to get lucky. We're not going to get lucky. Ah, definitely screwed up there. Let's go for the arches first. Uh, I don't think you can actually go for the arches first. 
think it makes the most sense to go for the chests, then the arches. And that's the way. Now, interestingly enough, I always struggle with this one. And I think I struggle with the third one. The others aren't really too bad. Right, now we're going to go straight for the arches. Unfortunately, they are more than three seconds apart, I believe. Now, you can beat your wings. And I've heard some people say that actually makes you speed up. And some people say it doesn't make you speed up. There's a lot of confusion in that. In my experience from testing, it doesn't actually make you move any faster whatsoever. But now we're here in the maelstrom of combat. Let's just flame these guys. Good stuff. Ace is high, bitch. Oh, fuck. There we are. Oh, nice. Oh, they just flew straight into me. I like it when that happens. Last one. And hopefully we can come down, strafe that guy, do a loop, like so. Okay, not quite the loop we wanted. That's the loop we wanted. Yeah, so you can do a loop the loop, not really sure why. And then you can do a uh, turn, a loop turn. <laughs> but, you know, hey, it is what it is, I suppose. I suppose you can show off if you so desire. Not bad. Not bad. Finally done it. Right, let's get out of here. You can uh, attack your own time and redo that as many times as you want. Why you'd want to, I don't know. They're the only parts of this game that I'm, I'm not 100% keen on. I don't mind them. They're just not my favourite parts. Alrighty, so level 100% complete, nice. So now, we've just got our first boss to deal with. Dr. Shemp. And let's just say he's not all he's cracked up to be. Alright, let's grab these. Might as well flame this guy as well. This is just so addictive, so addictive to just take his ass out all the time. Okay, let's go beat the boss and then move on to the next area. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. Oh no, it's Toasty, Dr. Shemp's later on. I wonder if he's called Toasty because we're going to fry his ass. Confronting Toasty. I like the way this is the sunset as well. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Really is a good use of Unreal Engine. All right, let's start collecting some jewels. Look at the water as well. There's something, something really soothing about that beautiful sunset. And there's a lot of vestas in this game. Now these dogs suck. Not a fan of these dogs. They kind of home in on you, and their attack pattern is a little bit janky. And you got to flame them twice as well, so. You can get fucked. The shepherds suck. <laughs> he's gone. Not only is his ass fried, he's in the drink. Yeah, so flame and then run away, but sometimes, no matter what you do, they just hit you automatically. Oh god, that was not good. That was my fault. I hit the wall. <laughs> Don't hit the wall, folks. It is not good. Oh, you son of a bitch. I actually really want a Spyro tattoo. It does feel weird. One thing I see like that automatically hits us. No matter what we do, get automatically hit. I think that did happen in the original as well, so it's not unique for the remake. Ooh, son of a bitch. Good run. There we go. It is slightly easier, I will say, in the remake, just because you have a lot more control over the camera. Get fucked. Ah, oh, the music in this game is just fantastic. It definitely is a very unique sound. It's got that kind of like soft guitar melody to it. There's some nice... You know, nice amount of electronic effects to it as well. It's very 90s, but it's such a unique sound. It's beautiful. 
Now we are actually going with the reignited soundtrack. Uh, you can run the original soundtrack if you want. And it's very similar, very similar. But what's impressive is just how good the original soundtrack is. It holds up so well, but it is softer and slightly tinnier. So I do like the uh, reignited music. Now, one thing that is cool as well, I don't know if you can tell, but when we go into the guidebook, the music gets really muffled. Kind of like if you go to, if you're in the club and you go to the bog, and you can still hear the the music faintly, like the dull thud. You can hear the bass, but the mid range gets completely dulled out. It's really cool. The mid and highs, I should say. Right, Nevin. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Oh my! Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. That's the actual Spyro. Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. Does he now? What does that mean? Well, I'm sure we're going to find out. Right. <laughs> Bloody dog. Uh, run. How did we get hit? How did we get hit there? So there's Toasty looking pretty grim. But he's not all he's cracked up to be, as you can see. Right. Run. <laughs> Right, it's one of his dogs down. Now there is a dodge move you can do using the L and, R, uh, L and R buttons, like so, but it doesn't really work on these dogs, unfortunately. Yeah, not looking so good. Oh, Mr. Toasty, how you were once so, so imposing, so intimate. No, you weren't. You were never imposing or intimidating, were you? Oof. There we go. Oh God, fuck. There we go. Not bad. One left. Run! Yeah, get fucked, Toasty. I <laughs> see him getting ready to smack me in the face. Well, it ain't gonna happen, buddy. You're screwed. So Toasty all along was just a sheep in pumpkin clothing. Alright, what are we looking like? 100%. 100%. Nice. Let's get out of here. I mean, most of the bosses aren't that tough. It's just, uh, they have certain tricks to them. The bosses are all unique and interesting, which is what I like. You know, this was before, this was back in the good old days. Uh, whereas, oh yeah, we need to get sparks back. Whereas, um, instead of just making enemies bullet sponges, you know, because the only way to make enemies harder these days is you just make them take 750,000 hits uh, and hope that the player just makes a mistake. Whereas they're all interesting. They all have their own little... Where are you guys hiding? There's no point in hiding. Yeah, so where, you know, in this game they're all unique. They all have interesting, you know, little attack patterns and all that good shit. Right, anyway... We're done with artisans. Let's move wow. on. I see you've been busy rescuing dragons, Spyro. We have Marco. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. I would love Are to. You ready to go? Let's go. And it was always so exciting back in the day when you managed to get to a new world. Entering the Peacekeepers. The only thing I wish that it would tell you. Um, was if you've 100 percented a world. I think that would have been a nice extra touch. I mean, it's not that important, but it would have been an extra little nod to make sure that uh, you definitely haven't missed anything. These balloon rides definitely take a lot longer than they used to. <laughs> nice. Be nice to see them unlock the frame rate for the new consoles as well. Give us 60 FPS. Maybe even 120 if we're lucky. That would be sick. So, anyway, guys, here we are on the Peacekeepers. You can see there's a very different tone straight away. Uh, whereas the Artisans was a lush green 
kind of uh, rural affair with some nice castle architecture and luscious rolling hills. This place is a little different, shall we say, but we will get into that in the next video. So we're going to leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.